Hey dolls and gents, I'm super excited to be doing this video today. It's on the new ABH cream contour kits and there are three of them. This one is the light shade, this next one is medium, and of course I'm using the deep shade. They're also going to be coming out with a fair shade if you are lighter than the light kit but I'm absolutely obsessed. I wanted to play around with them and share my first impressions with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and it's helpful for you guys who are interested in checking out this beauty product because it is amazing. So I already did my foundation and I will link the foundations that I used down below. I mixed two and I'll also list all my foundation shades so you can get a gist of my foundation color and the shades that I'm using. I, of course, am going to be using the Cream Contour Kit, and this one is deep, and it has three kind of highlighting shades, and then it has three contour shades, and I think I'm going to use the Nude. The Nude shade is a little bit too light, but the Cinnamon shade is a little bit too dark, and of course, the middle shade, which is Coral, is too peachy to use so I'm just going to highlight with the nude shade and if it is too light then I will add a little bit of the cinnamon color so we're just playing this by ear we're doing a first impression so I hope that y'all enjoy this video I do have two beauty blenders ready to go so I can blend everything out I'm going to apply it with my like just a regular foundation brush. I'm not sure how this is going to work out quite yet since I've never used this product before, but we will see. And I'm not quite sure how much product I'll need because I don't know how well these cover and blend, but I think that's enough to highlight underneath my eye. Just looking at the color, I think that it will work out okay for me. If you don't like super highlighted underneath your eye, then you'll probably want to use a deeper shade than I am. But right now, I'm just placing the color and I'll blend it out later. So I'm going to go down the center of my nose. On my forehead. And the product seems like it's pretty dry. It's definitely not the consistency of your concealer. I'm gonna go just above my lip. Just to highlight that area. And my chin. Now I am going to take the deepest shade, which is Carob, and I'm going to contour my face with that. So I'm going to place it um, right in my jawline, like right there. And again, we're blending this out with the Beauty Blender, so don't worry about getting it precise right now. I'm just kind of playing with the products right now.
down the sides of my nose, of course. And I would probably go lighter on my nose, but for today, this will be okay. And just my temples. I don't wanna to do too much on my forehead because I do have a small forehead. So I don't like to really contour it too much. And um, I think I'm gonna go underneath my jawline with a little bit of the light color too. Just to make that line more precise. Now I have two clean, damp Pro Beauty Blenders, and I'm going to use one for the lighter shade and then the other for the darker shade, just so we keep everything really super clean and blended out. So let's see how this blends. So far, it's like, what up? Next, I'm going to blend out my contour. So this is how it looks before I set it with any powder or anything. And I have to say that I love the consistency of it. It's more dry than concealer. So I feel like it won't crease as bad, especially underneath the eye area. But let me set it and I'll be right back. And this is what my face looks like after I've put on my powder and finished everything. I think that the finish of it is really nice. and. Honestly, I love the way it looks. Y'all can let me know what you think in the comment section down below.